Grace, I thought it would be helpful for me to just put together a quick video to show you this. I, I'm using, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate this on your GE forecast. I, I noticed one little error here before we get started with the, uh, the template that's in Excel. If you go over here where you initiated, this is good and this is good as well. When you get to this third day, uh, the let's see, it looks like uh, you're taking J27, so you're taking 3% uh, of the previous day close, which is correct. I think that is F22, that's correct. And then you're adding to it one minus, now you have F21 here, you're taking the previous day, the actual close, but what you should be taking is 70% of the estimate. So the only thing that you need to do, it's a very simple Excel change, is where you have, in this case, where you have F21, I'm just gonna highlight that. And then if you go click on the cell, I think that's M31 and hit okay. And then just take those formulas. That's the beauty of Excel just drag those all the way down and you'll notice a slight adjustment. After you do that, uh, let's see, go to data, uh, data analysis, let's see, exponential smoothing, click okay. Uh, let's see, the input range is gonna be the actual, I think I've already done this, the actual close dates that you want to estimate. Remember that uh, you're using a smoothing constant of 0.3, so the input for the exponential smoothing template here is one minus that. So 0.7, uh, Excel calls that a damping factor. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put your, I'm gonna put your Excel forecast right next to your manual forecast. I think we can start those right here and let's click okay. And then let's make sure that we compare. These all should be the same, 1539. Uh, that rounds to 1541, 1549. That will round to 1562, uh, 73, 88, 97. So I think what you'll see as you go down through here, uh, these will be exactly the same that you get from the manual. And like I said, I think uh, it's probably the case in all of your estimates here, uh, just so it doesn't drive you crazy, make sure that you go in here and on this last piece, uh, what you take in one minus the smoothing constant, so one minus 0.3, that is actually being multiplied times the close, or I'm sorry, the estimate that you've got for the previous day. And that uh, should get you, get you off and running, and then you can compute the error metrics and you'll be all set. Hope that helps.